In this challenge, I want to learn basics of data analytics in our studio using just chat GPT and no other resources. Let's see if we succeed. So this is our challenge to learn basic data analytics in our studio using just chat GPT and this is day one. So the first thing we want to learn is what kind of data sets are available for data analysis in our studio. So let's ask chat GPT what data sets can you recommend. Maybe you should eat, add here built in, right? Because we don't want to load any data outside data. Let's use what's available in our studio right away to learn data analytics in R. So we get a number of suggestions like Iris data sets, MT cars, Titanic data set, click weight data set, actually quite many, right? Some tooth growth data set. And uh, you see that ChatGPT has created for us a new conversation here, right? So we will be working in the same conversation over the entire challenge, right? So it will be convenient because ChatGPT will remember previous questions. So let's rename it. Let's call it challenge, challenge, learn data analytics in our studio. And of course, uh, I want to practice right away, right? I have my R Studio conveniently installed. So let us ask ChatGPT to write a code to load, let's say, empty cars data set. And let's ask to build a table with descriptive statistics. Please write our code, load empty cars data set and provide descriptive statistics. And you see that uh, ChatGPT was very kind because it provided the code. I will copy this code now and insert in my R Studio and we'll run it. But there is more. Actually, you can see that if you just learn data analytics here, you see that ChatGPT provided explanations, right? So had uh, empty cars will show us the few first rows of the data set and some are empty cars will provide descriptive statistics for the data set. So, and again, we can just copy this code uh, very conveniently from that button. Now I will move to my R Studio. I have like a fresh open R file here in my R Studio. So I just copy this uh, text and I highlight it and then I can click run to run this text. And uh, what you can see here right away is that indeed we have loaded the data set. You can observe head of the data set which shows us the first six cars and also some included variables into that data set. You can see that there are only 32 observations, right? So it's not quite large for real analysis, right? But at least we can start with something. And there are 11 variables here. And we can also see that ChatGPT recommended summer empty cars. And we can see information about miles per gallon and other included variables. Now we can back to ChatGDP and ask actually how to get information about empty cars data set in R. Because obviously these names are not sufficient. We can guess that MPG is like miles per gallon, but it's not clear what other names stand for. And here again, we can quickly learn what's included. And what ChatGDP suggests, it's about the structure of the data set, column names and dimensions. But uh, I'll, I'll check that. But let me also ask if I can get maybe some labels. How about labels of variables? Because you want to know what they mean. And you see that it's very convenient. It provides for us the names of the variables, like gross horsepower or displacement or weight or transmission or so on. So let's try now this additional piece of code. Again, coming back to our studio. In principle, I don't have to load the data set again. Uh, and again, observe that uh, in our studio, if you have a hashtag in front, it means that these code line will be ignored. So you can use it for your explanations for your future work. And we can check str function here. Control enter, you can do it like that. And again, it's a different way to look at the data set, right? Because it tells you that there are 32 observations of 11 variables. You can check call names. If you, if you work with a large data set, it's very helpful. So you have this list of call names. 
and also you can look at the dimension, right? Dimension will tell you something about uh, the structure. And finally, of course, if you're new to our studio, you can check this little button here and it will open you the data set in a spreadsheet like uh, Excel or something, right? So you can see here your cars, right? You have like different cars here and you have different variable names in that columns. So far so good. So it's the end of day one of a challenge to learn data analytics in R using ChatGPT only. And uh, see you tomorrow.